नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल कबीड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस आई एम प्राणेश वी आर सॉल्विंग द एसर एप्टेड टेस्ट 2020 फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द टेंथ एम सी क्यू विच रीड्स वॉट इज द इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट्स ए एंड बी आई शोन इन द फिगर ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट द प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी सिंपल बट देर इज वन थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो हेयर देर इज अ गैप इन दिस at this point there is a gap okay see this gap now what does that gap signify that gap signifies that the resistance to r is should not be considered while calculating the equivalent resistance why is that that is because this branch is is like an open circuit so it has infinite resistance correct okay so uh, first of all let us find out the equivalent resistance between points a and c okay let's call it rac now uh, 2r and 2r they are in parallel okay so we need to take the sum of the reciprocals so 1 upon 2r plus 1 upon 2r that will be a uh, 2 upon 2r or 1 upon r and we need to take the reciprocal of this so rac is r okay rac is r well uh, now you know that if rac is r and the resistance after that is going to be a positive resistance you basically understand that the resultant or equivalent resistance has to be greater than r okay so you can easily rule out option a because that is less than r okay that is less than r 68 by 87 anyways but we have to continue okay now uh what about this okay so let, let us call this as uh, this as this point as d Okay, fine. Anyways, let's let's calculate the top branch resistance now. Okay, which is R to R and R connected in parallel. So we'll have one upon R plus one upon two R plus one upon R. Okay. So how much will that be? Take one upon R common. So it will be one plus half plus one. One plus one two two plus one upon two is uh, five by two. So this will be. Mm, 5 by 2 r, correct? 5 by 2 r. So what will be the reciprocal of that? That will be 2 r upon 5. So this 2 r upon 5, okay? This 2 r upon 5, okay? So basically we now have got this. This is a, okay? And then between a and c we have got a resistance r now. And at c we have a split. And the top branch of it. Okay, has the resistance 2r by 5. This one. Okay, and then this is b. So what remains to be found out is the one below. Okay, observe that this is like a balanced uh, Wheatstone bridge. Okay, balanced Wheatstone bridge. Why? 2r by r, one. 3r by 3r. Sorry, two R by two R one, three R by three R ones. Okay, so this resistance here, okay, is not going to participate. Okay, no contribution. So uh, it will now be two R plus three R five R. Two R plus three R will be five uh, R. Okay, so the equivalent diagram will look something like this now. Okay. So it will be two uh, R plus three R five R two R plus three R five R. So they will also be in parallel. So five R and five R. So in fact, between C and B, we now have three resistors in parallel. Correct. So let us take the reciprocals and add them. Okay, five uh, by two R plus one upon five R plus one upon five R. Or it will be five by two R plus two by five R. So one upon R into five by two plus two by five. So that will be twenty five plus four upon n. Right? Cross multiply and take the LCM. Yes. So uh, that is twenty nine by ten R. So what will be the net resistance? Net resistance has to be. That means the resistance of this part R B C or R C B 
therefore R uh, C B is how much? 10 R by 29. So the final answer is 10 R by 29 plus R. Therefore R A B will be R A C plus R C B. R A C we had already computed that it was equal to R. R A C R. And this is R C B. Okay, let me write it now. R A C plus R C B because the R A A C and C B are in series. Correct. Okay. Now let me also highlight this. 10 R by 29. Okay, so we are adding one to this, so that has to be 39 R upon 29. And what is the option? 39 R upon 29 is option C. So correct option is C. One very important thing, again I am repeating this after we completed the solution. This is an open circuit. Okay, don't take that into consideration. This gap here is an open circuit, so don't take it into consideration because, well, you know this. A limit as x tends to infinity 1 upon x is 0. Correct? So even, even if you had to consider it, you need to consider it as 1 upon infinity. So that will be essentially zero okay because in uh, open circuit means infinite resistance that is question 10 next video will be on question number 11